viewers welcome to my youtube channel hii ndo mara yangu ya kwanza kwanza kabisa ku post a story and for those who have subscribed i'm so grateful for those who are new here please 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 the only way you can support this girl ni ku like ku share na ku subscribe to my channel so na wakaribisha nyote and i hope we will work with you guys tutasoma tuta learn from people because the topic nataka ikwe kwa channel yangu it's about toxic marriages you know toxic relationships mental health all those if you are there and you have a story you would love to share with us kindly kindly umtaona namba zangu hapo you can email me you can inbox me you can call me ama you can just text me and i'll call you back so bila kupoteza time leo niko na visitor wetu nataka atuambie majina zake ametoka wapi and then from there atupe story yake karibu sana and by the way before i forget she's our first 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 guest ever in this show i don't take it that for granted i'm so grateful so please introduce uh thank you very much karo for inviting me Uh, to your show mm -hmm. i'm just humbled i'm grateful na nitaanza na majina yangu kwa majina naitwa Susan Karanja na nimetoka Thika nimesomea Thika shule ilikuwa inaitwa Muslim Primary School mm -hmm. na high school nikaenda Said za Moranga mm -hmm. shule inaitwa Saba Saba mm -hmm. so here my story comes in uh TV. Uh -huh. Just kidogo uh -huh. before before <coughs> uende kwa story uh -huh. unaweza maybe tuelezea your growing up uh -huh. you know background yako ilikuwaaje uh -huh. uh -huh. such things to understand. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh mimi nimetoka from a humble family. Uh na sisi by the way <laughs> mimi nakumbuka hata nguo za kwenda chat nilikuwa na nguo zinaweza hesabika so mimi sijatoka kwa familia ti well up mm -hmm. nimetoka kwa familia iko pale chini kabisa but i really thank god today because i'm somewhere i thank god mm -hmm. so nikianza story yangu um, kuna wakati uh, nikiwa nasoma uh, i have my brother uh, my first born brother mm -hmm. na uh, my brother alikuwa high school eh? mm -hmm sasa story yangu inaanza hapa alikuwa high school na mimi nilipomaliza primary mm -hmm. class 8 eh? mm -hmm. nilikuwa sasa nyingi high school but my dad started saying that I'll repeat I'll not go to high school because of my brother na mamangu akawa discouraged sana mm -hmm. na at that time my uncle was coming to our place mm -hmm. brother to my dad alikuwa anakuja sana sana na i think ile mzazi mza, mama mama mzazi anakuanga na anakuanga kifeel mm. watoto wake mm. so babangu aliposema ati nitarudia nita, nita mm. i think mamangu akawa na, na huo mzigo okay ulikuwa una repeat because of your other brothers yes, wako shule yes. ama nilikuwa oh. na repeat kwa sababu mm -hmm. hangeweza kutusomesha ah, sisi wote okay. wawili mm -hmm. so uh, my mom aka approach my, my, my uncle na akamwambia um, Uh, shiko walikuwa wanaita shiko uh -huh. shiko anamaliza shule na babake alikuwa anasema anataka kurudi, uh, anafaa kurudia because hata aweza kuwasomesha watu wawili uh -huh. uh, mi actually sikujua nili sasa nilikuja kujua baadaye kabisa uh -huh. na my uncle akakuja akaambia my mom akamwambia wacha kwanza niende nyumbani nifikirie then i'll come back to you na my uncle left ah uh, tukakaka kidogo he came back na akaambia my mom uh -huh uliza shiko if atakubali kusomea amenunua shamba huko saba saba na amejenga pia huko uh -huh. amejenga very big house a mansion uh -huh. so mimi sikuwa na choice uh -huh. nikaona because sitaishi kusoma milele na ju nilikuwa na, nilikuwa nimependa masomo na singetaka kurudia ju mimi sikuwa mjinga uh -huh. so nikamwambia nikamwambia my mom actually walini approach wote wawili na mimi nikakubali because i knew sitaishi kusoma mm. nitasoma tu miaka minne na nirudi nyumbani but palikuwa na challenge kidogo kwa sababu unaona ninatoka kwetu nyumbani mahali nimezoea mahali mm. nimezoea my brothers niende mahali pengine environment nyingine yenye sikuwa nimezoea mm -hmm. but uh, ju sikuwa na choice na nilikuwa naangalia naona vile familia yetu tumetoka mahali chini sikuwa na choice nikaona wacha tu ni mm. nikubali tu mm na nikaambiwa ni nikaambiwa ni, 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 ni jitayarishe mm -hmm. 
uh, sasa il, tulikuwa tunaelekea January nijitayarisha nilinunuliwe uniform nilinunuliwe vitabu nita join saba, saba secondary school mm-hmm. na that is what happened na nika, nika wakati ukafika na nika join mm-hmm. nilipo join hmm. aheda nilipelekwa kwa my cousin mm-hmm. alikuwa naishi kwa ile nyumba because uh, my uncle hange acha nyumba yake peke yake so amejenga nyumba kubwa mm-hmm. so kuna mahali amejenga nyumba sasa mansion yake mm-hmm. na kuna mahali amejengea ya wanaitwa kawakazi yeah yeah mm-hmm. so si tulikuwa tunaishi hiyo ilikuwa nyumba ya think uh, room star to mm-hmm. yeah so mimi maisha nikaanza na nika join shule but nilipo join shule uh, i don't know she treated me so bad such mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. nikikumbuka tu hivi mm-hmm. nasikianga tu machozi ikinitiririka iki, iki but mimi nilimforgive mm-hmm. but you see mm-hmm. Uh, the reason as to why I've come here mm. is to I want to heal and mm. to heal completely. Mm. Yeye yeah, yeah, maybe anaweza kuwa hajui mm. but it is still in my heart. Mm. Heri ufanye mtu mzima maybe um, um treat the way you want to treat him mm. or her mm. but to see treat mtoto because mtoto ata ye, she doesn't forget. Mm. Like today nakumbuka anga everything that she did to me everything. Now, Susan unaweza mm-hmm. tuelezea ni nini hiyo alifanya mm-hmm. such that you know <clears throat> imekula yeah. it have taken you time to heal yes. until you kasema no I want to talk it out and cause mm. inaonekana ni kitu mm. unaweza tuelezea kila kitu yes. uh, nilipo join shule mm-hmm. uh, kuna wakati alikuwa anakuja ananiambia ukitoka shule vyombo ni zile mm-hmm. unafaa kuosha unafa, yani I was like I was a maid in that, in that house eh? mm-hmm hata wakati wa kusoma singepata mm. nimetoka shule na saa hizo nimetoka shule ameniambia asubuhi kama hutaenda kuwasha moto ya kuni mi moto ya kuni nilionea huko hata mm. kama tulikuwa tulitoka uh, nimetoka kwa a humble background mm. at least hatukua tunatumia kuni tulikuwa tunatumia jiko mm. but hapo ndipo nili, nilijulia moto ya kuni ni kusema nini mm. so alikuwa ananiambia nikiamka mapema nipike niende niwashe moto nipike na kuni and i was like mimi hata sijui kuwasha kuni nitaanza wapi so nikaona hiyo kazi ni ngumu sana mm-hmm. na pia nikaangalia nikaona it will waste a lot of time mm-hmm. na ninaenda shuleni so mm-hmm. mimi nilikuwa natoka mm-hmm. nilikuwa naamka naoga nachukua bagi yangu mm-hmm. naenda shule mm-hmm. nitakaa hivyo hadi hata kukuwa na chai sana like uh, you know like now mashule at least mm, mm. kuna chai ya nini nini mm. but hiyo wakati ukitoka kwenye hivyo kama hujakunywa ama hujakula chochote hadi lunch time mm. so uh, nilikuwa nakaa hivyo hadi lunch time saa kutoka lunch time ninakula jioni kifika ninarudi ananiambia nisipate vyombo zikiwa chafu na ile wakati alikuwa nafika kwa nyumba naambiwa fast cook then after you, you, you are done and usome mm-hmm. in other words nataka kusema kwamba sikupata time ya kusoma mm-hmm. na hata ile time nilikuwa namaliza kazi zangu mm-hmm. juu nita, nitatokea shule nipike nioshe vyombo nioshe nyumba so by the time niende kusoma it is almost nine. Mm-hmm. for sure nine nilikuwa nashika kitabu naanza kusinzia mm-hmm. so sikuwa nasoma mm-hmm. na ile wakati nilikuwa tena na jaribu at least kusoma ni asubuhi naamka kitu five nasoma one hour naanza kujitayarisha na tukaendelea hivyo tukaendelea hivyo sasa wakati mmoja mm. tukafunga shule mm-hmm. kufunga shule akaniambia hakuna kwenda nyumbani nikamuuliza kwa nini lazima ulime mm-hmm. kwa sababu mm-hmm. hakuna shopping ulikuja nayo huku na hakuna shopping mama yako alikununulia kuja nayo huku so chakula nimekuwa nikikupatia uh-huh. nime umekuwa kikunywa mimi uh-huh. so ukitoka before you go to your place kwanza ulime uh-huh. na me probably tulikuwa tu maybe tunafunga like four weeks uh-huh. ananiambia two weeks nitakuwa huko uh-huh. nifanye zile kazi ziko huko kama ni shamba niende uh-huh. na sikuwa na shida na hiyo but uh-huh. sasa alikuwa na ile sasa ilikuwa ina ni uh-huh. ati hauko unakuja na hauja hauja shopping uh-huh. unaweza niambie nifanye kazi na sina shida na hiyo but kuongeza kusema ati, ha, ha, ati hakuna shopping ulikuja nayo huku 
haikuwa mimi sikuwa naona iki sound mm. vizuri mm. but juu nilikuwa tu mimi haja yangu ilikuwa tu kusoma mimi nikasema tu sitaishi huku milele mm. na i obeyed mm. na nilikuwa nafanya kazi zake naenda shamba after maybe two weeks naenda nyumbani so na maisha ikaendelea so kuna mahali alikuwa na kosea kutukanana mm-hmm. kama angekasiri kama maybe apate haujafanya kitu mm-hmm zile matusi alikuwa anatukana na even today mm. sijawahi sikia mtu ananitukana matusi kama hiyo mm. that was that it really pained me na akisema like kutusi mm-hmm. uh, hapa tunakumbuka mm. your uncle alikuchukua yes. when uko huko mm. did you take a step maybe mm-hmm. kupigia your uncle ama uh-huh. kuambia your mom your dad mm. uambia what i'm going through yes uh, what i did my mm-hmm. uncle mm-hmm. alikuwa amemsikiza sana 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 mm-hmm. na hakuna kitu ngenda kwambia my uncle mm-hmm. ati yakusikie mm-hmm. though nilikuwa naenda my dad knew all this my mm-hmm. mom knew all this mm-hmm. they knew what i was going through mm-hmm. but hakuna kitu angefanya they don't have money yeah. to take me to another school mm-hmm. so ilibidi tu nikae hapo whether mm-hmm. i like it or not mm-hmm. but my uncle hakusikiza i think because anaangaliliwa nyumbi ni nyumba yake mm-hmm. i don't know sikuelewa kabisa mm-hmm. but nilikuwa nazipea moyo nasema sitaishi hapa milele na actually mimi um, that journey that i went through mm-hmm. uh, today i thank god because that is when i knew god mm-hmm. and that is uh, that is the time i knew that kuna mungu mm-hmm. sikuwa na okay mimi nimelelewa catholic mm-hmm. na sisemi catholic ni mbaya mm-hmm but i came to know god mm-hmm. because of the situation that i was going through mm-hmm. and because of the pain that i was going through mm-hmm. kuna wakati nakumbuka nilitokea shule mm-hmm. wakati mmoja nikapata alikuwa nyumbani akapika mm-hmm. na amebakisha chakula zingine hapo mm-hmm. mimi nilipotokea shuleni because mm-hmm. unajua mtu akitoka shuleni the way you are so Kuna hungry try, yeah. unataka at least kukula kitu mm-hmm. mimi nika nikasema because i'm hungry mm-hmm. wacha nikule chakula kido mm-hmm uwe akakuja mm. akaniuliza ni nani alikwambia kule chakula yenye nilikuwa nimebakisha kwa sufuria mm-hmm. and i was like uh, kwani kuna makosa yoyote mm. uh, akaniambia sasa ni unapika leo mm-hmm. na hata kama mm-hmm. ni unapika mm-hmm. hakuna kitu nakula kwa hii nyumba ayo mimi sikuwa hizo ya maisha kama yani hiyo mm. mambo yote nilijulia kwa hiyo nyumba mm. na Yaani ile mambo nilipitishwa mm-hmm. singeongea. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa tu na najipatia na moyo naambia God sitaishi hapa. Sina sitaishi hapa milele. Kwanza kuna wakati sasa huo wakati nililala ukweli nilipika nika akiwa hapa akiwa amekaa hapo nikapika akachukua chakula akaserve bwana yake akaserve brother yake tulikuwa tunaishi na brother yake. Mm-hmm. Uh, bado alikuwa kazini yangu. Mm-hmm. Aka akajiserve aka akachukua chakula akaweka bedroom akukupea hata sikupewa chochote sikupewa chochote mm. hey nikaangalia nikaona sasa kama ningekuwa nyumbani kwetu mimi for sure my mom can do that my mom can't mm. do that hata kama nimefanya makosa gani mm. my mom hangefanya kitu kama hiyo mm. but nilivumilia na nikavumilia nikavumilia mateso hadi wakati mwingine saturday ingefika saturday siku anaenda shule unasikia ananiamsha six ananiambia leo tunaenda shamba. Hiyo mm. wakati alikuwa na alikuwa amepanda alikuwa anapanda french beans. Mm. So tulikuwa tunaenda tunazimwagilia maji from hiyo 6. Sasa hiyo hujakunywa chai, umetoka umeenda. Lunch hujakula, kurudi utarudi saa kumi saa kumi na moja. Yeye akae chini, mm-hmm. wewe upike. Mm-hmm. Yo kitu ilikuwa inaniuma sana, but nilikuwa tunajitia moyo. Hadi kuna wakati mwingine nilienda shambani nikauliza god yani mungu tu uliona tu nipitie haya mm. but nika mungu akanipea nguvu akaniambia actually god by the way mi, mi nilikuwa tu nasikia god god himself was talking na alikuwa ananiambia this is not your end and you have a great destiny ahead mm. na hizo ndizo hizo mm, ndizo words nilikuwa nashika mm. na ninajua this is not my destiny and i'm going far mm-hmm. and one thing i knew is that from that time i knew that i am blessed because mungu alinichagua mimi mm. we are a family of we have i have three brothers in total we are four na nikajua kwamba mimi am blessed na hiyo word nimekuwa nikitembea nayo i know even right now god is not yet over 
uh, with me. It is not yet. Uh, it is not yet over. Mm. I know that I have a great uh, destiny, and I know that God will work in me. Mm. So, <clears throat> uh, from one, from two, to li, to liishi sasa iyo maisha. Mm. Na nakumbuka kuna wakati mwingine ali my uncle akakuja katuletea unga because sometimes alikuwa anatuletea unga na tuletea alikuwa anatuletea chakula mm. ya na i remember kama kuna siku i got pained kama kuna siku i cried the whole night mm. ni hiyo siku uh, it was on a saturday my uncle was coming on saturday saturdays hako anaenda kazi so if it's saturday alikuwa anakuja na nakumbuka my uncle alikuwa ananipatia like 200 and mm. hizo yeah. hizo jipange nazo yeah. hizo aende ununue mafuta hizo aende ununue aende ufanye blood drive mm. uh, staki kukuona ukiwa shagi mm. but uh, my cousin alikuwa na kuna wakati ali approach my uncle akamwambia hizi pesa unapeanga shiku hata kuna kitu anafanyanga nazo hata kuna mafuta ananunuanga ana, ana kila wakati unamwonanga ameenda ananunua mandazi i think hakufurahia mm. because for sure hakukuwa na kitu kama hiyo atinaenda kununua mandazi how now mm. so hakuwa anafurahia i think me vile mimi sometimes nakanga hivi naona maybe alitaka mimi nikufe but wacha nikwambie god akiwa akisema destiny yake yako ni yako nayo hakuna mtu anaweza kakuondoa mm-hmm. so uh, my uncle as i told you before alikuwa anamsikiza sana na all of a sudden akaacha kunipatia mm-hmm. so mimi nilikuwa nakaa hivyo mm-hmm. nywele nilikuwa nikifanyiwa blood dry nikirudi nikitoka nyumbani mm-hmm. maybe nitafanyiwa maybe another one niki, niki, nikienda mid term mm-hmm. na ukitaka vitu kapa sana waite nafikia my mom na mwambia nitumie yeah. okay sasa ile mlango ilikuwa ina imefunguliwa ya maybe uh, maybe kupata at least kitu kidogo imefu mm, imefungwa mm. uh, so kuna wakati mwingine my uncle akakuja akakuja mm. na shopping mm. na alipokuja na shopping husband yake hakuwa naishi huko husband yake alikuwa naishi somewhere else mm. i think bama ya yeah, somewhere in nairobi mm-hmm. na i remember one time my uncle came with the shopping and uh, nakatuachia on uh, i think it was i can't remember the day but uh, in the course of the week mm-hmm. ali, ali alienda kwa bwana yake mm-hmm. na akatuacha na kazini yangu mm-hmm. na the brother na alipotuacha ile kitu hadi wa leo sijawahi elewa na kitu hadi wa leo sijawahi amini mm-hmm. ile kuna unga tulikuwa tumeletwa kitambo kulikuwa na paper bag hizi za yellow za za, blue, za, za green mm-hmm. za black mm-hmm. Anko yangu alikuwa amekuja na hiyo paper bag imejaa ya green imejaa unga na my cousin do you know what she did mm-hmm. tulikuwa na dogi mm-hmm. tulikuwa na dogi tulikuwa na dogi because of um, anko yangu alikuwa anapenda dogi sana mm-hmm. na zilikuwa zinanunuliwa chakula hii chakula ya unga my cousin alichukua maybe ana, anafikiri anga i don't know me, or maybe anafikiri anga ni nisahau but ile everything that she did to me i remember it is actually as fresh sijawahi sahau kitu yoyote mm-hmm. alichukua ile unga ya dogi mm-hmm. alichukua ile unga tulinunuliwa mm-hmm. akachukua ile chakula ya, ya dogi inakaunga unga mm-hmm. aka mix hiyo tuko shule aka mix na alipo mix akarudi akaenda na ame mix kwa nini i don't know that is something that i have ever I don't know I don't know I don't know what she wanted. Yeah. Even today sijawahi sijawahi understand alikuwa anataka nini. Na kama, may mix akaiacha kwa nyumba ama may mix happy mwaga. Uh-huh. Ali mix na akaiwa uh-huh. kwa nyumba. Vile tu ilikuwa kwa paper bag ya green hivyo ndivyo tulikuta. Sisi tukienda kupika with my with the brother uh-huh. tunashindwa what is this? Tulipoangalia vizuri tukaona ni unga ya umbo hiyo umbo ya iyo, i mean hiyo 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 chakula ya umbo mm-hmm. na unga yetu mm-hmm. we slept hungry and the whole night i cried and i was asking god god you brought me to this place to do what mm-hmm. i wish i can die mm-hmm. nilikuwa naambia mungu i wish you can take my life away mm-hmm. right now mm-hmm. ishi day imekuwa mm-hmm. too much mm-hmm it is too much and i'm very very sure even if i can go back to um, to my mother's home sisi pitia shida kama hii wewe so maisha ikawa ngumu 
and I think it was on a Friday. Ila wakati alienda it was on a Friday because I remember the following day my uncle came. Mm-hmm. Na alipokuja even I was not able to talk. Nilikuwa naongea machozi na mwagika. Ananiuliza what is wrong? Na mwambia uncle. Uh, ile ungo ulikuwa umetusiagishia mm-hmm. ili 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 mixiwa na chakula ya, ya umbwa. Mm-hmm. Akaniuliza what do you mean? na mimi because mm. sikuwa na nilikuwa na naongea na Lia mm. nilikimbia kwa nyumba nikachukua unga nikamletea mm. na i think alikuwa anamwamini sana because hakuteke ni action mm-hmm. haku 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 kutukalisha chini kutuliza what is happening mm. sikuelewa even today but uh, mimi nili, nili i forgive her but i can't forget yes i forgive her but i can't forget because she made me go through so much pain pain that no one has ever made me go through that pain na nikaangalia nikaona i would rather live in niishi na mashida mingi sana kuliko kuishi na maisha kama hayo na i think she was like that even to everyone because nia alikuwa anaangalia ya watu wa kilima uh-huh. and i remember kuna wakati mama fulani alikuja akamwambia akali i think ali, alitelewa within with 10 minutes only uh-huh. na huyo mama yako na watoto uh-huh. ame, alikuwa amekuja kutafutia watoto alimuuliza nani amekwambia ukuje hii masaa kila mtu ako kwa shamba ni nini ume say ume, nini uh-huh. umetelewa na dakika kumi do this go back you will come early tomorrow and i was like surely amekuja kutafutia watoto ametelewa na 10 minutes peke mm-hmm. yake mm-hmm. ile kitu imefanya amrudishe ni nini mm-hmm. na nikasema because i don't have any power mm-hmm. na mimi atakuwa in good terms na yeye mimi sitaongea hata ni nyama ni nyamazi na maisha iliendelea hivyo na mashida ikaendelea nakumbuka kuna wakati mmoja nilienda nyumbani na nikakuja by that time sasa vile my uncle was not providing anything for me nilikuwa mm. naambia my mom sasa itabidi mnifanyie ka shopping kadogo mm. at least pads zile vitu yani That's toothpaste no toothpaste mm. juhonge tumia kitu yake mm. alikuwa anaongea vibaya sana so nilikuwa na make sure nimeenda at least na pads toothpaste mm-hmm. those Not personal time. yeah mm. na i remember kuna wakati mmoja mimi niko shule mm. na nikaenda kutafuta pads zangu nika, nikapata ametoa. Mimi sijui kama alikuwa anataka nikufe ama alikuwa anataka I don't understand. Kimaanisha ametoa unamaanisha alikuwa alikuwa ali, ali, hakuwa na jali. Mm-hmm. Mimi nilienda kutoa pads kwa kwa bag yangu ili nitumie nilipata haziko. Mm-hmm. Na sidhani kuna mtu yeyote angefanya ai zinangeingia kwa bag yangu atoe mm. pad zangu mm. na nilipo muuliza niliambia mimi sijui mm-hmm. nikawa tena yani nikawa tena ni uh, yani nikawa tena pia niko na uchungu because mm. ametoa i want to use them na sina mtu mwingine wa kuambia na ameniambia hajui mimi tu nilinyamaza nakumbuka kuna wakati mmoja niliambia my mom mimi sitasoma tena mm. i think nilikuwa naelekea form 2 mm nikamwambia my mom hii shida imezidi sana i think me sitasoma but i remember my mom came mm-hmm. alikuja shule akanichukua mm-hmm. na tukaenda nyumbani mm-hmm. akaniongelesha akaniongelesha akaniambia hebu angalia situation yenu yetu hapa mm-hmm. nyumbani unasema hautasoma what will happen unless sasa maybe ukatae u, u, sasa u, ukose ukae nyumbani ukose kusoma tena nikakaa hivi nikajiuliza nikakosa kusoma picha yangu itakuwa aje na nikajiita kama mkutano mm. nikarudi nikaita my mom nikamwambia wacha tu nirudi but I, i was crying day in day out asking god why did you do this to me yeah. uliangalia tu kaona ni mimi tu peke yangu ninaweza kuja kwa ninaweza kuja in this place in this environment yeah but um with time nikajua god with time nikajua the faithfulness of god and with time nikajua kwamba you're not supposed to put your your trust uh, kwa binadamu because mm. binadamu anaweza kukufail mm. na binadamu for sure 
he can't give you anything. Mm. Na nikajua how to depend on God. Na nikajua kwamba everyone that depend on God anaendanga mbali. So nikarudi nikarudi shuleni na niliporudi shuleni nikaendelea tu na zile mashida but I was still telling God something every day every day naambia Mungu Mungu I know siku moja nita nitatoka hii place and mm. I know that one day you will make me great. Mm. Uh, mahali my cousin ako maybe anaonanga ni kama maybe hakumbukangi mm. but mimi hakuna kitu sikumbukangi ile matusi yalitukanana mm. um vile hata alikuwa ananisengenya alikuwa mm. ananisengenya kwa friends wake mm. then hivi god anapitia tu njia zake na ninakuja na jua i remember nikiwa nilipoingia form 1 nili nili niliwekwa in charge nikawa prefect from form 1 hadi form 4 mm. Na I remember when I was in form form I think form 2 uh, our teacher came na kaniambia because I'm the prefect ni lazima twende mm-hmm. lazima twende tukaangalia a certain lady who was very sick na mimi sijui ni nani aliniona mm. instead of coming and approaching me and Ulysses Susan I saw you somewhere ulikuwa unaenda kufanya nini huko aliambia my uncle lafaambia siku kazi yake ni kuzurura huku kazi yake ni kuzurura kila mahali alionekana siji wapi instead of approaching me for sure hakuniuliza chochote mbona anaenda kunisema mbona anaenda kunisema so mimi wale leo nakumbukanga hivi na mwangalivi i don't even mimi nikimsalimi even if tukipatana na yeye hapa mm-hmm. ata tukipatana na yeye mahali popote mahali fulani maybe tumepatana mazisha ama tumepatana wapi mimi umsalimia na sinanga any other story. Mm. Sitakangi kujua vile anaishi, sitakangi kujua vile anakaa, sitakangi. Nikimsalimia, I go my way. Ulo ichukua time maybe after tumemaliza shule, kumekuwa na familia yako, ukasema mm-hmm. now let me take time. Uh, mm-hmm. I need to go and approach ana nimuulize like mm. closure. Why why did you do this? To be more in it as a never. Na hata siezi pata even now as we speak. Mm-hmm. Siezi sina your grace. I can't but nilimwachia god mm. nilimwachia mungu because mm. ata kama mtoto si wako mm. you're not supposed to treat someone like that mm. unafaa kum ata kama how actually me it was not a must that ituishi na yeye mm. it was not a must mimi angeambia angesema mimi sitaki kuishi na yeye mm. na ingekuwa tu sawa jusi lazima the brother alikuwa anakutreataje Ah uh, by the way tulikuwa tunafanywa hayo mambo yote mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunafanywa na, na tukiwa na brother yake mm-hmm. tukiambiwa leo hakuna kukula mm-hmm. hakuna kukula so uh, si ati wewe uta uta nyimo chakula mm. brother yake apewe. but nilikuwa naangalia ni kama okay wakati mwingine mm-hmm. unajua blood is thicker than water mm-hmm. sometimes ulikuwa unaona maybe tumeambiwa hamtakula leo mm-hmm. maybe unaona brother yake ameitwa na hapo anaambiwa a case mm-hmm. nona but kuna kitu kuna saying inasemangwa ya kikuyu inasemanga hali yake ikayo kiho kigoaga mm. sa hi it is not the same way i mm. was there before yeah. i have changed mm. mungu amenibadilisha mm-hmm. mungu at least niko na matumaini mm. and i know and i always say even today that i have a great destiny yes wow and i'm going far wow yes oh that's and uh-huh. god is it is not yet over yes it is not yet mm. over i know god is taking me somewhere mm-hmm. and a greater place mm-hmm. yes wow that um unajua mm-hmm. uh, kuna watu wengi sana sana mm-hmm. watu wanaka kwa family members mm-hmm and most of them they are not able to come out and speak and talk mm. but i also know a few people mtu mm. anaka kwa family member and and they are very toxic yeah. maybe unaweza ambia viewers wetu a gym mtu anapitia such a thing mm. eh, to encourage and yeah. also our family members mm. wanachukua relative yeah. wakisema wanataka kumsaidia mm. and then they end up kumi mm. street na kuna kitu moja ningetaka kusema if you know you're not able to live with someone else daughter or son don't true don't yes. because hakuna haja ya upitishie mtu shida ama upitishie mtu uchungu mm-hmm. uchungu ataishi ku, ku, ku blame mm. i remember kuna wakati uh, when i got married mm-hmm. nilisikia tu fununu kwamba she got an accident mm-hmm. 
tunawata ni kwambie kitu moja mm-hmm. the way she used to work that time Mungu alipitia mimi niliposikia hivyo nilisema Mungu anatuniaga njia mingi sana mm-hmm. uh, kulipisha mm-hmm. siezi muonea mbaya mm-hmm. na siezi taka alipwe na mabaya mm-hmm. but kuna kitu moja nitasema mm-hmm. Mungu kulipishia mtu mm-hmm. kwa wakati singe yani i was i, I think hakuna kitu ninge singeweza ku fight for mm-hmm. myself mm-hmm. singeweza kuongea mm-hmm. nilikuwa tu pale niko tu bubu because mm-hmm. i want nataka kusoma mm-hmm. na nilikuwa naangalia naona nisiposoma nitaenda up kuwa nini mm-hmm. nitaishi na mashida na mashida so mimi nitasema kitu moja kama huwezi taka kupitishiwa na mtu njia fulani mm-hmm. usipitishie mtu Kweli. usifanyie mtu chenye wewe hauwezi taka kufanyiwa mm-hmm because there is god in heaven na kuna mungu analipishianga mtu wacha nikwambie huo wakati nilipo so, nilipokuwa nasoma alikuwa na alikuwa nafanya kazi yeye mwenyewe mm. so by the way alikuwa na do alikuwa mm. na pesa mm. because alikuwa nafanya kazi na mikono yake mm. na pia hata ile nyumba naishi juu alijenga nyumba ya mawe mm. ni alijenga yeah. unaona mm. so alikuwa napata do lakini nilipoolewa nilisikia fununo ati amepata accident and i remembered the way she used to do to me mm. nikambia god unalipishanga mm-hmm. right now she cannot even walk a long distance she cannot work for herself sisemangi ati si, siezi muombea mbaya mm. na siezi sema ati okay mimi nitasema tu mungu anapitianga njia mingi sana mm-hmm. kulipishia mtu mm-hmm. na ningesema tu kitu moja pia Uh, mimi nilimsamehea mm-hmm. na ile kitu imefanya ni kama ni come in this show mm-hmm. ni jionge mm-hmm. it is because i want to heal mm-hmm. yes i forgive her mm-hmm. but you see i cannot forget mm-hmm. it is still in my heart mm-hmm. and every time i remember her mm-hmm. i feel so much pain na ninaona as if she doesn't deserve even to be in this society because mm-hmm. huo wakati nilikuwa naona ni kama anataka kuniua mm. anataka kunimaliza mm. just because we don't we didn't have anything hatukuwa na, na anything is in tulikuwa tulikuwa ha, poor mm. we were living in poverty mm. so alikuwa anaangalia naona sasa huyu ananiambia nini sasa huyu ameletwa hapa afanye nini but nitasema hivi Mungu ni ana kwanga ameshika destiny ya mtu mm. na nitasema tena Yeah. Na acha acha nikukata before nataka uongee nikae naambia. Mm-hmm. I think hata angalia hii kamera. Mm-hmm. Umuongelesho unajua that is also another way of healing. Mm-hmm. Umwambie mm-hmm. kitu umeku kitaka kumwambia na kutoa mm-hmm. kwa roho. Mm-hmm. Maybe ata come through mm-hmm. uh, ata ata una hii. Mm-hmm. Uh, his story yeah. and of course message itamfikia. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, I'll not Zangalio camera. I'll not mention her name because okay. I'm very sure anajijua. Mm. But nitasema hivi. Mimi nilikusamehea long time ago but uh, one thing I'll tell you is that I cannot forget all all what you made me go through. I cannot forget but you made me go through a lot of pain. You made me go through I don't know hell. Ata, I don't think even if I've never gone to hell I don't think hell kuko hivyo but you made me go through a lot you made me yani nilisikia eh, si um si wezi, si takuwa binadamu in future na kama nilikuwa na that time even I was feeling like I, I can kill myself because you made me go through a lot you made me go through a lot of pain but i forgive you nimekusamehea yeah. but um nimekusamehea and through this talk through this show of today i'll just pray to god that nitahil na yeah. ata nikiongea niki nikiongea story yako sitakuwa nikifeel as if kuna kitu ili happen mm. yes. wow that's so good uh, thank you so much for being into this show Nipo wa kufu, ku open up. I always mm. say you know when you talk you hear. 
it's it's a process na mtu anaweza nae ni kitu kidogo ama something mm. but the minute umeanza kuongea unaanza kupona yes. and the minute tumesema ume umemsamehea mm. hiyo kitu inaenda ikiisha and also to to some of our family members if you know kabisa kabisa ukichukua your relative mm. mtoto especially watoto ya yeah? mm. Uki, ukichukua mtoto kwako and you know very well unaenda kutesa hiyo mtoto please atana nayo atana mm. na yeye kabisa because that is so unfair mm. you see Al, and kwa kwa alikuchukua mm. na heart poor ya kutaka kwenda kukusaidia yes. but hakuwa naishi mm. Nairobi mm. you are the person aka aka kufanya slave mm. that is so so unfair mm. but then kama unachukua mtoto wa mtu wa familia yako treat them as your own you never mm. know kesho mm. anaweza kuwa yeye ndo ata atachukua watoto wako utataka a treat mm. watoto wako mm. vile we ulimfanyia mm. let's learn to respect each other mm. kama hutaweza usimtese usimchukue sema sitaweza it, it is happening by the way it is happening unapata mtoto wa men hata anapotea anaona instead anike kwa hiyo environment na hawa ni family members mm. I'd rather go live in the street. Hao mm. tutu tunaanga kwa street they are often some of their they are often when you kwa street na si ati hawana watu wao mm. but mwingine ali alienda kukana mtu wa familia mateso ikazidi mm. akapotea. Mm. That's why we are saying if uko hapo please please tuache hii mambo ya toxic toxicity kwa 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 family members. Mm. Sisi ni damu moja tunafaa tupendane. Mm. I'm so grateful Susan. Yeah. Uh, you are my first guest yeah. and one more thing <laughs> i would like to say uh-huh. ningependa kushukuru my uncle uh-huh. because he had a heart of helping mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. na mahali popote up al- alipo mm-hmm. thank you thank you very much uncle wow. you made me uh, come this far mm-hmm. yes god made me come this far mm-hmm. lakini ulinisaidia yes. kama si usaidizi wako mm. i don't know sijui ningekuwa wapi pengine ningekuwa maybe nafanya kazi kwa nyumba mahali mm-hmm. but ulinisaidia mm. na kushukuru sana 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 na kuna kitu moja nitasema mm-hmm. right now he is not feeling well mm. i pray every day because of you my uncle mm-hmm. wherever he is thank you very much because Uli, you are the one who gave me uh, masomo mm. yenye my own father mm. hangenipatia mm-hmm. so wherever you are thank you very much and then something else i pray every day because of you naomba nga tu god aku heal because what you did to me sidhani kuna mtu yeyote angenichukua vile ulinichukua ulinichukua kama mtoto wako mm. uh, tukakaa kama ukanishika kama mtoto wako wherever you are may god bless you bless you very very much na mungu akuponye akumbuke tu kitu moja tu umefanyia mtu in this life mm. na akuponye na akuponye completely mm. yes He's then something else uh-huh. um watoto usiwaiona usiwaishika mtoto uone mtoto ni kama uh, huyu mtoto hakuna yani unaangalia mtoto unaona ni kama huyu mtoto is nothing mm. you don't know the future of this child yeah na haujui huyu mtoto hata anaweza kuwa uh, the next uh, maybe the president of the nation maybe really? sometimes mm, to come mm. so what appear watoto tu wapatie heshima z- zenye z- wanafaa mm. yes thank you thank you Susan i'm grateful eh na hii kuwa show yetu ya kwanza eh na wakumbusha tena if una come through this show for the first time please 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 support tu unaweza ni pair ni ku subscribe hiyo tu hit button utaiona hapo subscribe and then like share and comment kama uko hapo uko na story unaweza taka kushare na sisi usisikie uko left out sisi hapa hatuchagui hatuchagui wewe ni nani umetoka wapi kila mtu if you have a story to share kindly reach me kwa namba yangu ya 0710 77 9295 i repeat 0710 77 9295 nitaeka handle zangu hapo ya TikTok ya IG na ya Facebook mnaweza hata ni inbox if you have a story you want to share uko karibu sana kwa show yangu so i don't have much to say rather than to say thank you thank you and again i repeat like i want to repeat a hundred times like 
subscribe, share and comment. Najua tunaenda mbali. We might be starting, but trust me Susan. Yes. Utakuja hapa tena. You're yes. my first guest. Yeah. Na I'm so positive. Yes. We, we are going to grow. Nitakuita hapa tena because yes. I don't take it for granted kukubali kukuwa the first guest. Yes, yes. Until next time. Bye bye my viewers. Bye guys. Hi guys, welcome to Njayu Wanjiko channel. Um, this is a YouTube channel that I've started. Kindly, kindly guys, I request you to subscribe because on this channel we are going to tackle things affecting the society such as family conflict, sexual harassment, uh, drug abuse, mental health, name them all. So I'm expecting you guys to subscribe, subscribe and subscribe and support this girl. That's the only way you can support me. Thank you so much.